I love doing pick scratches. Those are a really unique thing too. Problem is each these picks alive. And, and I found there's a typical ones going down. There's going up to no changes too. But um, I got this primarily as a kid listening to Kiss when Gene would go at the beginning of every single measure probably. One other song uh, has some interesting pick scratching is Bad Omen, and again, playing it upside down. Um, when I go to the second chord here, in that little teeny breathing space, I go, and it's really creepy sounding. So if I play it upside down, I go. Make sense? And in um, other songs, like in, in um, Washington is next. There's one part at the end where I was using a wang mar to make it sound like a wolf going, oh, oh, oh. So I try and make sounds like that. In Skin of My Teeth is another really neat part too, because when the band rebuilds itself with the song in the middle for the tension after the solo, um, the riff stops. And I just go, just a kind of a, like a man scratching his face. You know? So uh, there's a lot of interesting things you can do with your pick without you even having to fret the other side of the guitar. Okay, we're going to show you something right now too, uh, picking chords upside down. And uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but for me, when you voice a chord upside down and you hear the higher notes first, and obviously it's gonna sound better because you hear the whole chord. If you hit the lower note first, it's kind of like having a fat person in your house. There ain't much left to do after that note takes over. So um, I will pick the notes upside down. Does that make sense to you?